Hey guys, uh, about a week and a half ago, I got myself a Savior of Souls Lightning. She's the new NeoVision's base form of Lightning, and now I'm going to be taking her to a few trials to try her out. Um, I waited a week and a half because I wanted to get her EX1 for free from the login shards. Um, the JP server, over the course of 10 days, uh, gives you 50 login shards for free. I just got the last shard today. She's now EX1. So, first of all, I'll show you her LB. Which is kind of cool. She's got a CG LB and all. We're going to be using her LB quite a bit during these trials, but um, I, I have LBs turned off for uh, for the most part. Um, but anyway, this is going to be the build we're using for Omega. We're going to start with Scorn of Omega first. Um, so she's got uh, 200 LB damage, 275 machine killer, and we've got a double hand. Um, she's got the chaining cap increased. Uh, she's only got uh, a five times cap by default. You can equip her STMR for a six times cap, and that works with double hand weapons. So she's true dual, true double hand along with also having the chain cap increase. I didn't mogul my STMR, so mine's a little bit weaker, but it's fine. And then her shift form is a mage. Um, because we're geared for physical damage, we've got a physical card. Um, her mage form is going to be a little bit weak, uh, but she's going to be a breaker in her mage form, and she's also going to be um, chaining a little bit. But most of the damage comes from her base form, LB. And then unable to build me a lightning as well. Uh, base form has maxed out. Wow, real, real good. Uh, 4,500 attack, maxed out LB damage, maxed out machine killer, a double hand weapon, got her, her STMR for the chain cap increase, so this is like a perfect lightning. Mine's not as good. And the mage form, again, because we're using a physical card, you can't really gear um, the mage form as good, but it's still better than mine. 3,800, 200, 200 killer, etc. The rest of the team is a classic um, Omega team, no real differences. So let's get in here and see if we can do Omega, and then we'll go to another trial maybe. All right, there's the ambush. Uh, Phasey immune just for that. All right, so on turn one, we're going to go ahead and Magnus with Eileen. Uh, let's see. Fid is going to... Um, Actually, now that I think about it, we want to shift the lightnings for now. All right, we're going to chain, chain, and then break on one of them. The Actually, mine is going to... Um, let's see. Chain, chain, and provoke. The friend is going to... Let's see. Chain, chain. Oh, the glitch! We're going to chain, chain, and break. Phasey is going to... Let's see. Mitigate... And, um, LB fill. No, we're not. We're going to cover... We're not going to do that either. We're going to... I just realized this first turn I didn't quite plan entirely well. Alright, we're going to... Provoke. And mitigate. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, so lightnings are going to do their thing. Um, let's see. Before we do anything else, let's see if we can get... Renora's LB here. It would be great if we could, and we did, actually. No, we didn't. I mean, we did, but we're not... <laughs> I'm so scattered. It's fine. And then we're going to use... Fid to break... MP fill, and do whatever. Okay, so that turn was mostly just set up. Turn two is going to be set up as well. All right, we're going to go ahead and shift Phasey and do her LB. We're going to shift the lightnings back to base form, and we're going to power up. Okay, we're going to burst next turn when the shield is down on the boss. Let's see, Eileen is going to give us a killer buff. Uh, Renora is going to LB here. 
And Fid is going to, um, do whatever. Doesn't really matter. We'll just break. Again. Okay. Some attacks, we don't care. We've got Renora on the team. The damage is irrelevant. Alright, now it is time to do some uh, damage here. We're going to go ahead and LB our lightnings. Damn, if I had brought a finisher, this would be a turn three victory. I didn't even I didn't even realize it would be that that much damage. Holy crap. Wow. Okay. Uh yeah. Didn't expect that. Alright, let's go ahead and re-raise with Phazy. Let's um Nephysite with Eileen. So we're gonna have to keep going until the next phase now. Because the shield will be back up. Unfortunately. Oh well. Uh, so Renora on turn three can just LB fill with Rally and cry. Man, I could have had a turn three clear if I had known there'd be so much damage. Okay, whatever. Um, let's go ahead and provoke and just fill some LB. Actually, let's let's limit with her. Let's refresh the killer buff. Let's limit with Renora. Let's go ahead and shift our lightnings. Stupid glitch. And we'll do just some chaining. Actually, we're going to chain, chain, and do this. Friend is going to chain, chain, and refresh the... Actually, we don't even need to break. Why am I breaking? What am I doing? We don't need to break. We've got a breaker on the team. Yeah, she's a breaker next fight. This is her mage form. Her mage form bypasses shields. Because the shield is only for physical. Uh, we can maybe finish finish this boss off next turn. With her with her mage damage. Yeah, the shield goes down again on turn turn six for physical damage. But we, we, we don't 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 even need to go to turn six. Okay, we're done. Okay, there was Omega in five turns. Could have been three turns if I had brought like Tifa or something to cap on turn three. Um, and then the boss's shield would have gone down again on turn six. We would have done her LB for physical. But yeah, okay, so let's go to another trial and blow it up with her LB. See you guys in a moment. All right, guys, next up we're going to pop the Tonberry Trial. Uh, this trial is super easy, so it's going to be, you know, whatever. But we're taking Lightning Built for Demon Killer this time. Um, she's got, this time, mine has 280 LB, 325, well, 300 Demon. She's capped. She's overcapped, actually. Uh, 4,500 attack. Got the card. We're not using the shift form, so I didn't bother gearing it. The rest of the team is a generic um, Tonberry team. And then Deuce has a real nice one built. We've got 270 LB, 275 Demon. Um, he has the STMR for that good chaining cap increase. And let's go. Yeah, we're not using the shift form. Let's give this a try. So Tonberry is a little bit of a headache because he dispels every time you burst him. So we're bringing Realm to fix that problem. So Realm is going to go ahead and preemptively imperil Thunder for us and do uh, a quad cast unlock. Let's see, we're going to break mana regen, water resist on this one. Phazy is going to provoke and uh, let's see, provoke and mitigate. Uh, Nicole is going to unlock and do some demon mitigation. And Lightnings are going to do their ATB power-up, which is a undispellable, I think a six-turn um, LB damage boost. Uh, 
Okay, let's do some damage. Uh oh, we need we need we need LB gauge. Nicole, help us out. We want LB. Let's go. Um burst time. Okay. We're gonna get dispelled now, and the boss did uh some stupid stuff. Um, let's see, we need to cover and resist buff this turn. Uh, Realm will just triple fill LB for the party. And we'll go ahead and fill a little bit more LB with uh, Fid. And we auto-regenerate some. We're back to good to go. Actually, we're a tiny bit short, but we'll fix that with uh, Realm again. There's the Dispel. We love Dispels. All right, so we're a little bit short on LB, but it's not a problem. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's fill LB, and let's boost um, attack and magic. All right, let's LB again. All right, well, there was a turn three clear. Um, turn one was set up, and then two bursts takes care of the Tonberry. And we still had, you know... A lot of ways to fill LB. We could have double cast with Nicole for more LB. We could have used Realm's big cooldown, which we never even used. Okay, let's try another one. See you in a moment. Alright, guys. Next up, we're going to be going to the hard mode of Scorn of Ashura. This is the most recent trial and probably the hardest trial available currently. Um, I'm going to be trying it with Lightning and a little bit of a different team than my first clear. Well, I guess we're changing one unit. But um, yeah, this trial is quite a bit more serious. We're going to be have to it to be a little bit harder. Uh, but this is what we're going to be doing. <clears throat> we're doing a LB damage lightning. She's got 4,500 attack, double handing, 250 LB damage, 300 human, 225 demon, and 75 undead. Um, Ashura is all three races. The first form is human demon. The second form is human undead. Um, there we go. Her shift form. She's going to be the breaker this time. Um, she Her shift form is geared for lots of auto limit. We've got the anniversary paintbrush. We've got the call of the wild from the coral. Lots and lots of auto limit. So when we shift over to break, it's going to fill our LB. So it's kind of not really like a dead turn. We're going to fill 12 from auto limit, 7 from the paintbrush, 8 from coral. So 27 from that, plus um, any drops we get as well. So that's going to be our DPS. Primarily DPSing in the base form, using the shift form to imperil and... Um, <clears throat> Uh, in peril and break. Uh, Trag built me one as well. Same thing as mine, pretty much. Well, a little bit better, actually. Uh, base form, he's got 280 LB damage, 175 human, 175 demon, 75 undead. So a little bit less on the killers, but higher attack power. Um, there we go. Oh, he's got the chain cap increase, too. Mine does not. So that's, that's actually a big a big damage boost. And then um, the Axtar card, which I had that on global. Uh, shift form, same thing. He's got um, maxed out auto limit and the paintbrush and the call of the wild. Outstanding. Lots of MP regen. Yeah, the shift form is not for damaging. That's just for breaking and support. The rest of the team is going to be a Gabranth. I've adjusted him from my first clear. He's got a tiny bit less resistances, but um, uh, quite a bit more bulk. And he's going to have 100 resist to fire, ice, and lightning after a buff in phase 2. Uh, Rem is replacing Shantoto. She can do um, all eight elements. She's got triple cast black naturally. Uh, she's also chosen because she can imperil in phase one, and she can um, she can cross summon Golem in phase two because Golem's going to be on Nicole, and in phase two she can do that. That way Nicole has access to Golem in phase one. Uh, phase one Nicole's going to be a buffer and do Golem most turns. They gave him the Mirage materia to help with the transition to phase two. He's also going to do some mitigations, and yeah. And Siaka, very generic. She's got um, just auto uh, auto LB gear, and she's going to be doing imperil removal. Hopefully I don't need to reset this fight. Let's give it a try. Alright, so turn one, we're going to uh, shift the lightnings. And let's see. One of them will break. We'll just break with mine. And just to keep it um, 
in sync. Actually, we're going to do this. We're going to. Uh... Oh no, we can't do that. Oof. Okay, so yeah, to keep it in sync, we're gonna we're gonna shift both of them. We're only gonna break with one. Actually, we can we can break with both. There's no reason not to. So we'll break with both and then do a tiny bit of chaining. This is going to be extremely low damage. This is all a setup turn. Um, Nicole is going to mitigate stat boost. Uh, Ram on this first turn is just going to hit the boss three times to eat all those counters. We don't need to seal this turn, so we're just using her to eat counters. Um, let's see. We'll mitigate. We'll personal mitigate. And we will... Hit the boss a little bit with Gabranth. Wait for the, that to finish. All right, and let's go ahead and do this with <coughs> Lightning again. This is not really a damage turn, like at all, as you can see. And then throw a little bit of LB with Siaka. Okay. So now we need to seal fire and uh, ice. So we're gonna go ahead and shift our lightnings back to base form where we're gonna LB gauge. Shift back to base form. LB gauge. Um, Rem is going to triple, let's see, triple. We're going to fire. Ice, and we'll imperil the boss. Nicole is going to golem here. Gabranth will mitigate. And Siaka, I didn't get your LB. Oh, we did. We did, barely, but we did. And her, her LB, LB cures all debuffs. So we're good. Okay, now we're going to burst with... um. Our lightnings. So this boss is a little bit of a headache in that you can only DPS her him in phase one. If you're not using evokers, you can only DPS every fourth turn, which is the tremendous headache, and it's the reason I'm probably not going to show the entire phase one. We're just going to show the, the startup. Um, so we're going to seal water and lightning. Wait for this to finish. We'll go ahead and pop golem. Do some damage here. Ashura is very, very tanky, as you can see. Uh, we can just reload Gabranth. Sayaka can cure debuffs. And let's go ahead and do a re-raise on Gabranth, just for safety. Alright, so this is the turn we can only hit him with Wind and Earth. So we're just going to spend the turn refilling LB Gauge. We're not going to do any kind of like damage or anything. Uh, let's see. Wind and Earth. So we need to triple with Rem. Wind and Earth. Hit three times. We'll pop Golem. Pop her LB. We'll have Gabranth refresh his defense buff. Actually, we're going to have Gabranth. Alright. This is going to be a little bit risky, but we're going to go for an off element or an off turn DPS. We're going to DPS on the wrong turn. And trigger and trigger a bad counterattack. But I think it's going to be okay. Alright. So we're going to shift with both of these. Nicole is going to... Um, we're going to Golem with Rem. Actually, no. Rem needs to eat the counters. So we're going to... Strength 5. Let's see. Dark, dark, dark. Eat the counters. Golem... Go ahead and do some damage. 
Get a little bit of free damage in there. Alright, and we will seal light and cure debuffs. Gabranth will do his thing. We should be okay. We got Golem. It was totally fine. Alright. Turn 6, we're going to shift our lightnings. And, let's see. We need to break again. So we're going to break. We're going to shift. Actually, we actually don't even need to shift one of them. We'll just... Oh yeah, we do want to shift for the for the LB fill. So we're going to just LB this one. Uh, turn 6, Rem is going to... Let's see, we want to have Siaka do her thing. We want a Golem here. Turn 6 is Fire and Ice. So we want to... Fire, Ice... And imperil golem. We break. All right. I think the boss's attack buff is. Oh, it's it's. Ugh, it's gonna be irritating. Alright, we're going to shift back. It's turn 7. And we're going to get another DPS turn in. So we're going to T. Um, water, water, lightning. Let's see. Cabranth needs to do this. Yeah, the attack buff is up. Alright, so Siaka needs to fill a little bit of LB gauge, which is fine. We'll do this, we'll fill LB gauge. LB, shift, LB, golem, and we do a little bit of damage again. Not bad, actually. Alright, so we lost our demon mitigation at this point. So, because Nicole hasn't had a chance to recast it. Um, as you see, it hurts quite a bit when you don't have demon mitigation up. Uh, I kind of don't want to do that. It's turn 8. I guess... I guess I'll use dual cast. and heal a little bit with lightning so Siaka can do her LB. Alright, it's turn 8. Turn 8 is Wind and Earth. Rem will Wind and Earth. Let's see, Wind, Earth. Is the boss still attack buffed? He is. We have to Golem again. Oh, I don't need to do that. Next turn, I'll be able to use Nicole to um, put up Demon Mitigation again. Because the boss won't have an attack buff, so we actually won't need Golem. Alright, how is the boss's... Yeah, there, there's no attack buff this turn. Alright, it's turn 9. Turn 9 is Light and Dark Element. So we're going to triple. We're going to Dark, Dark, Dark with Rim. Nicole is going to finally give us demon mitigation so we can start taking less damage on our boy. Uh, we've got three turns of breaks. Um, it's turn nine. Turn nine is light and dark. So we're going to, let's see, light element and cure debuffs. Let's go ahead and ATP, ATP gauge. Actually, let me shift and refresh the brakes so we don't have to worry about the brakes later. 
and then we'll just ATP gauge with you. And then uh, we can just cover and mitigate. Okay. Yeah, turn 10 is going to be an LB damage turn again. So we might be able to do this in two, in two more bursts, potentially. We're going to go ahead and go ahead and try it. How's our LB gauge looking? LB buff. Oh, uh, does the friend not have the LB buff? Five turns. Oh, he does. Two more turns. Um, we can possibly do it in two bursts. It's turn ten. Let's try it. Let's try it. This is this is, this is a little risky. We're gonna use the Magnus just to be safe. So we're gonna fire, ice, and imperil. So if we're using the Magnus, we actually don't need Nicole's buffs. This is the wrong turn to do this. Okay, so we can we can kill next turn. So Nicole is going to fill LB gauge twice, so we can burst again next round. We'll go ahead and cure debuffs and heal. We're gonna Magnus here, so we don't get destroyed. We did we did a we did a wrong element burst. Okay, so we're all imperiled and debuffed and all that goodness. Alright, the boss is attack buffed, which is fine. Um, so we've got cover. Okay. So we're going to... Let's see. So we're going to go ahead and finish off this, this phase. So we need to fill LB gauge twice. And re fill LB gauge once, this should be fine. No, we need twice for Siaka. Yeah, Siaka's LB gauge has to be filled. Because we need to cure all these debuffs. So we're going to cure debuffs. We're going to go ahead and burst the boss. Finish this phase out. Okay. Rem is going to AoE re-raise. We're also going to mana regen. So we're going to... Let's see. AoE re-raise... And then just double mana regen. And then Gabranth is going to Magnus and Fire Resist. Now he's going to die. Because we don't have double Mirage, it's almost unlikely to get the no death mission here. So this is going to suck for him. Yeah, sucks. Okay, so we failed the no death mission, but whatever. Okay, so Gabranth is now going to cover, mitigate, and physical mitigate. Let me think how we're doing this. Alright, Rem is going to golem every turn. Nicole is going to LB here for the big stat buffs. We're going to shift lightning. And break with one of them. The other one will just power up. And then um, Siaka will give us some immunity buffs. So we will immune to debuffs and breaks. Okay, phase two begins. Oh, the boss just cured herself. Seriously? Seriously? Ah! I didn't know this was a cure turn. Oh, God. Oh, our brakes are on cooldown. No! <laughs> Alright, Gabranth, you're up. Time for you to break. Them big 6 to 5 percent. Alright, um... Go ahead and cure. Uh, yeah. I guess we're both going to stay in shift form for now. 
and we're just gonna fill LB. Ouch. Oh my god, Gabranth. Your breaks are not good. Yeah, okay, so that won't happen anymore because now we're um gonna have always one of their breaks available. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and break. And we can just guard here. Okay, so now we're at, now now we're like in a in a good rotation, a good groove. Alright, we will cure debuffs. And heal. Nicole will resist physical mitt. Gabranth. Yeah, this is a little tricky getting this phase started because that that break the spell really threw me off. That came with like the worst possible time. Okay, now it's time to start DPSing. Now the boss is gonna cure debuffs again really soon. Which is annoying. But we should be fine. Alright, so we're going to cure debuffs. Break immune. This, this. And Nicole will fill LB gauge. Okay. All right. Fill this again. Do this. Do this. Do this. Alright. And... Mitigate. Alright, I think the boss is going to cure her debuffs this turn. So we have to switch and break. But we're back in the rotation now. It's fine. Yep, she cured her debuffs. All right, so we're gonna shift. Um, who's okay? Mine's on cooldown, so we're gonna shift. And this one is going to LB boost. Boss is broken again. All right, so this is the turn that Nicole is going to re-unlock stuff. Debuffs. And here. Okay. So we go back to the base form now. And we get three turns of damage. But mine's a tiny bit short on, on LB, so we can fix that with Nicole. Not a problem. Actually, I'd rather fix it with... Siaka. Actually, Siaka needs to do this. Nicole will fix it, it's fine. Alright, so we're both in. Yep, base form, let's go! Okay. So the boss is going to start healing now. Makes it really irritating. And there's the defense buff. Alright, let's see if we can get it with Nicole. We probably can't get it all the way. We have to do, have to do a little bit with Gabranth as well. Got it. It's LB again. Oh, seriously? Jerk. What a jerk. A little bit short. Siaka fixed that. 
There we go. Okay. There's the heal. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and... Hmm, she's gonna cure debuffs next turn. I don't think there's any way I can get... their LB filled quickly enough. Maybe if I do this? No, it's not going to happen. Nope. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and shift. Actually, there's no point to shift. We'll just stay in the base form. We're just both going to use the a ATB fill thing. So this will be a no damage turn. A little bit irritating, but whatever. Yeah, there's the, the debuff. Or the cure. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and shift. Um, we'll... Alright, so mine will imperil. The other one will break. Alright, Nicole, this turn. We'll fill his things. Golem always. Let's see. Debuff immunity. Break cure. Okay, so we're gonna get a few turns of straight damage in a second. The boss is gonna heal though. This is this is this fight is quite challenging if you're not using something like Bayomet Fina. Alright, and we're broken as well, but we can fix that with Siaka. It's fine. Let's go ahead and do break immunity. Cure debuffs. Shift and LB. Shift and LB. Actually, I want to go ahead and use... No, we don't really need that. No, we're just going to fill LB. And resist buff. We'll use Gabrant to buff his own defense, it's fine. Alright, there's the heal. Uh, we're gonna use the ATP buff, ATB buff this turn. Because I wanna get Nicole to do his LB here. I want to do Siaka's LB as well. Next turn will burst when the boss doesn't have um, that defense buff up. And then we've got six turns of our Limit Burst buff as well. Which is great. Alright, burst. Burst. No defense buff, right? Yeah, no defense buff. Ooh, very nice. Do this, this, fill LB gauge, um, we don't need LB again with Siaka, so we'll just confusion immunity, because we're not immune to confuse on our DPSers. Alright, I think this turn, this, this is the turn the boss cures her debuffs, super obnoxious. Yep. Alright. LB. 
the... I think this is the friend that has... Breaks ready? Nope. So we're just gonna stay in the base form with you. And LB buff. Mine will shift. Break. Oh my god, the glitch. Alright, we're gonna break. And then just fill some LB. Golem. Unlock your skills. And repeat! And three turns of burst now. There's the heal, but we're fine. Alright. Defense buff is gone next turn. It's LB. Sprave shift. LB. I think we need break immunity at this point. Alright, so we're going to break immunity and cure debuffs on Gab. Nicole will get lightning ready to go again. Golem every turn with Rim. Um, yeah, we're fine. Let Nicole can get the rest of um, lightning's LB next turn. And if not, we can use Cabranth to fill the remainder. I, 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 think, I think Nicole is going to be fine. Alright. Yep, we're good. Let's do an LB without any kind of defense buff. Oh, beautiful. This is going so good. Alright, let's go ahead and buff a little bit of defense. Let's do a little bit of debuff removal. Alright, I'd love to get another turn of LB, but I don't think I don't think we're I don't think we're gonna be able to fill it. Ah, the boss buffed anyway, so who cares? Alright, we're not gonna be able to fill it this turn, so we'll just we'll just refresh the ATB buff on both of them. So we'll pop Nicole's LB instead. Golem, let's do uh, status immunity and cure debuffs while Gabranth just does his thing. Yeah, the boss is going to cure debuffs this turn. I think it's uh, the friend's turn to break. Yep, there's the debuff cure. So the friend will shift and break. This is a little bit disruptive, this dispel. Oh, wait a minute. Let's break. And then in peril, um, mine can just refresh the ATB buff. Uh, let's see. Golem. Let's go ahead and refresh Nicole's things. Reload you. Let's do break immunity. Okay. Boss has been rebroken. Time to go three turns of damage again. Hopefully this is the turn without the... Yeah, good. Next turn will be no no defense buff. I think the boss heals this turn, though, so... Slightly annoying. Oh, no, no heal. And no defense buff. Here we go. LB. Shift. LB. This will be like 14% or something. 28 to 15. 13%. It's fine. Do a little bit of LB. Just reload Gabranth. Alright. We can burst again next turn. Got that defense buff up though. Super irritating. Two more rotations, we should get it. Alright, let's... Not that. Let's, uh... Status immunity and debuff cure. Let's repeat you. 
All right, next turn we need to... If the boss doesn't heal here, I'm going to go for a kill. No, she healed. Nope, she healed. And the defense buff is up. So now we're going one more rotation. One more rotation. All right, so we're going to go ahead and ATP buff. Yeah, we're, we're, going, we're going for safety here. We're not going for speed. So we're going to do this. We're going to do this. Yeah, next turn the boss cures her debuff, so we gotta we gotta do this headache. And the boss dispelled herself, so we have to go through this stupidness again. All right, we're gonna shift. Um, break. Uh, we're gonna glitch the game. All right, we're going to break and in peril. Friend will ATP buff. Golem, Nicole, Mitigate, Unlock, uh, Gabranth, do your thing, Siaka, let's do Break Immunity, and Debuff Removal. Yeah, I think the boss is dead next turn, I think the boss doesn't have a, oh, this turn with the no defense buff, damn it! So the defense buff is back, lovely. There's the defense buff. Can't re you can't remove it either. So annoying. All right. Nope. 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 Stay in the base form. Stay in the base form. All right. Let's go. That defense buff is so huge. Okay, Siaka. We will cure debuffs, and we will entrust to the friend. Nicole is going to heal twice. These will do their thing. Okay. Turn 35, 34 victory. Not bad. Or 35, I guess. Oh, the heal. No. Is it going to be turn 36 victory instead? All right, Siaka, let's go ahead and trust the other one. And just in case, we're gonna cure debuffs. Got it. 35 turns, 35 turns, not bad. We did have one death. If my Gabranth was EX2, he could survive that threshold change um, with his Magnus, but without EX2, he can't quite do it. Okay, so there was some Trials with Light. Now it's a really long one, so I'm going to stop the video here, and then we'll see about Bayment, maybe even Chimera, a little bit later. See you guys next time.